multi-site, placebo-controlled, randomised trial of weekly azithromycin for children and adolescents living with perinatally acquired HIV infection, but who also have chronic lung disease. Through identification of young people living with chronic lung disease through our spiro spirometric measurements, we will determine whether a weekly dose of azithromycin improves their lung function after 48 weeks on treatment. I want to tell you how uh, the BREATHE uh, trial came about. When we were uh, uh, investigating young people um, uh, with HIV and looking at um, the spectrum of diseases they present with, had um, a very high prevalence of cough. Um, and uh, our studies have subsequently demonstrated that uh, there's a high prevalence of chronic lung disease in children living with HIV, even those who are on antiretroviral therapy. This form of chronic lung disease is distinct from the one that was recognized in the pre-antiretroviral therapy era. In the pre-ART era, the most common form of lung disease was lymphoid interstitial pneumonitis, which affected largely the interstitium. The form of lung disease that we're uh, aiming to address is largely affecting the small airways, a form of a constrictive obliterative bronchiolitis. It's difficult to diagnose on chest radiography and requires high resolution CT scanning. The rationale was that uh, chronic lung disease may lead to right heart dysfunction and pulmonary hypertension. So our focus was to assess uh, the structure and function of the right heart and to assess pulmonary pressures before treatment with azithromycin. And after the 12 months treatment with azithromycin, we wanted to investigate if the treatment improved the right cardiac function in these children. So we used echocardiography to assess the function of the right side. And my main role as the lead investigator of the cardiac substudy was to perform the echocardiography scans of these children and also to do the analysis of the data with support from the uh, trial statisticians. The study came about uh, through funding from the Norwegian Research Council and it has been conducted in Harare, Zimbabwe, where uh, the Biomedical Research and Training Institute are our implementers and in Blantar, Malawi, where the Malawi Liverpool Wellcome Trust are the implementers at that site. We work in collaboration with the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine, the University of Oxford, University of Cape Town, as well as the University of Tromso, the Arctic University of Norway. In this study, we have nine tests which we do, and the major one being the spirometry test, where we are looking for chronic lung disease. We also collect blood for viral loads, for CD4 counts, for HB, just to see if the adolescents do not have anemia. Uh, heart tests, which are the ECG and the echo, to see if they are working well before we give the adolescents the antibiotic azithromycin. We also do a test which is also called ENO, which is exhaled nitrogen oxide test. Nasopharyngeal test, we also do uh, stool tests just to see the kind of bacteria which is in the gut. It starts from the recruitment. Uh, we are saying we are taking people from the bench at the OI clinic. They don't know you and they don't know what you're going to give to them. So it's about uh, explaining and uh, people have to understand what you're doing and you have to trust the professionals that uh, they can get something out of it. As a build team, we've managed to have an impact in other people's lives. We've children who were worried about when we started the, uh, the breed study but as we are right now we are happy to see them improving and they are working very well they are looking good and healthy. In total the trial has enrolled 347 participants across both sites over a period of two years. Each of those participants has been followed up for 48 weeks and we look forward to learning their results at the unblinding ceremony in Tromsø, Norway in September 2019.